Hi everybody, Tyler Cruz from TylerCruz.com here. Um, this is actually like my 20th time trying to record this screencast because the first 19 times or so um, my software, uh, I was using Camtasia Studio, just kept crashing and having lots of issues. So I finally gave up on that, uninstalled it, and installed uh, Bandicam. And so hopefully this um, this will work out this this time. So about a month ago, I started using a new service called Box of Ads. Um, Box of Ads is a service, um, which is an ad spy service that basically collects various ads um, and creative and landing pages from a large um, <clears throat> a large selection of affiliate. Um, oh, sorry, um, ad networks and publishers on the internet, and basically um, collects them all into this one big database, which allows which allows you to analyze and search and get ideas from other advertisers and publishers. <clears throat> um, I've used other ad spy tools in the past, but they've been they've all been exclusive to a specific uh, traffic source. Um, Box of Ads has I'm not sure, maybe maybe a hundred or so um, different traffic sources um, specializing in pay-per-view and display. So there, there's they basically have a, a much larger reach of of um, visibility on on um, of ads on the internet as a whole. Um, <clears throat> so as I said, I've been using them for about a month now. And I can I can probably um, attribute between five to ten thousand dollars of net profit, um, being a uh, <clears throat> being a direct result of of having used Box of Ads. Um, I actually have a I prepared just a quick little <clears throat> example of of how this was done. So this is a a screenshot of. Um, from CPV Lab of one of my campaigns that I, I had tested <clears throat> and basically I had used box of ads to to basically um, get two two landing pages from um, now I had actually created very similar landing pages <clears throat> to these in the past by myself but these ones were just slightly different they just had a slightly different um, um, a slightly different uh, angle to them and so I decided to take them tweak them a, a little bit change them up a little bit and and uh, make them my own and I created this this campaign which is just a single campaign on a single traffic source <coughs> to a single <coughs> excuse me I'm getting over a cold here so I may cough throughout the video <coughs> um, on a single traffic source and um, Yes, yeah, sorry, and, and a single offer. And basically, I did a simple split test between uh, the direct link, which is acts as the uh, control, uh, la uh, one landing page and a second landing page. And I basically just uh, let it run. And as you can see here, looking at the conversion rate, the direct link um, converted at 0.65%. Uh, uh, the <coughs> second landing page converted at just slightly b uh, below that. And the first landing page converted at three times um, the conversion rate as the direct link. Now that is a massive, massive increase when it comes to uh, affiliate marketing. And in the past, when I had used my other landing pages on this particular offer, um, they did pretty well. I think I got maybe my best one might have done one percent. I can't remember, but it, it did nowhere near one point five percent like this one did, a uh, landing page one. And as you can see, that that yielded me a over over 100% ROI. So basically, for the for every $500 I spent, I made over $500 back in net profit. And of course, this is just <clears throat> this is just about $1,500 in revenue. This particular example. Um, <clears throat> the beauty of this is that I can take these landing pages and use them for the rest of my life. You know, for across different offers, campaigns, whatever. Um, once you find a winning landing page or creative or anything for that matter, you can always reuse it again in the future. So it's pretty much a um, the value of it is really unlimited. 
so that is that's the example of how box of ads uh, worked for me and I guess I'm just going to jump into it because there's so much to talk about and I don't want to make the screencast like six hours long so let's just jump into box of ads uh, so I can show you how it works um, before I do and I, I'm going to talk about pricing at the very end of this video but and I also I should mention that I have a very nice uh, discount lifetime discount for Tyler Cruz readers um, so I, I'll talk about the, the pricing at the end of the video but I wanted to just uh, show you that there's basically three different packages um, <coughs> available um, there's basically the the pay-per-view only package the display only package and then a, a combo package which is both and each package has a different uh, interface so I'm going to show you each one separately and I think I'll start with the display um, let's start off with the uh, display so um, just to start things off basically when you launch a box of ads you'll basically just see this very simple looking screen um, and then from here you can basically search for what you want by keyword or domain um, so just to, as an example let's just search for dating here and you can see that there's like a an, a lot of um, <coughs> these are all it's broken down it's broken down by advertisers publishers uh, the ads and the the uh, display ads and the text ads and you can see here just on the, for advertisers there's over 89 pages of advertisers here so if you had a particular advertiser in mind uh, you could actually just put that in as a domain to really narrow down your search <coughs> um, ju but just scrolling down I can just go through one and just show you kind of how it works here so let's just go to hmm, what should we use in a, as an example here um, I'm looking for something that is preferably has some affiliates involved here and something that has a lot of uh, a lot of traffic here um, you can see here that there's there's really a ton um, I don't want to take forever so let's just go to charmingdate.com that looks fine so <clears throat> One thing you'll notice when you use box of ads is that pretty much everything is like interconnected. So once I click on charming date, it'll basically everything else you can just keep on clicking and everything is linked to something else. So it's kind of like um, a never-ending <laughs> maze of of links. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're searching for something. Uh, you might want to actually just visit the actual website instead of clicking on, on the link because it'll just give you for example if I click on writeaprisoner.com it won't go to the website it'll go to the the detailed page within box of ads all about write a prisoner anyway small detail there but anyways yeah so I clicked on charmingdate.com the advertiser and uh, box of ads came up with 42,000 hits between this date range here showing you the activity um, graph here um, we can see that the charmingdate.com primarily largely uses Google network as their traffic base um, over 99 percent and then after that it's uh, split up between buy sell ads direct buys and site scout um, one second my dog just came in here panting no way hey okay um so yeah, so charmingdate.com we can see that they use primarily the Google network and within the Google network we can see that they they're advertising on these specific websites here. Um, this is just a quick glance showing the top five but you can actually view all and then you can export this into Excel or whatever and then you could if you wanted to you could take all whatever however many they have let's say they have 2,000 publishers that they use you could take those 200 or 2,000 URLs and paste them into your own AdWords campaign and basically copy their their exact um, traffic base of where they're getting traffic from on the exact same traffic source. Um, in addition to that, it'll show you the various creatives used. 
if you click on them, which I, I, I'll just show you as, as an example, again, everything is kind of interlinked together. It'll actually show you all of the ads here that they are using. So if you, if you ever have problems looking for creative, um, this is your site here. And then again, if I were to click on one of these, it would show me all the details of this particular ad, where it ran, um, how long it ran, everything like that. So again, everything is like interconnected here. So um, it'll also show you the dis uh, text ads in addition to the display ads. I'll just click you there really quickly to show you. So there's your text ads again from it's going to, that'll, that'll be from AdWords. Um, we've got um, some of the, the keywords and then the basically the traffic base. So we can see that the United Kingdom has the most traffic um, uh, across these ads followed by the US and then Australia. So this might be a good offer to run um, in the UK. Again, um, I'm just going to go down into break down into the publishers section here. This is again we still on the charmingdate.com um, area here. This just kind of breaks down all of the different publishers or websites that char charmingdate.com is running their ads on. So we can kind of see that the rightaprisoner.com um, uh, has quite a bit of, of hits here, so they're pretty aggressive there. Um, just going to break it down some more. We could click on any of these things. They will all link to the relevant information, but there's so much information here that I don't have time to show every tiny detail. Here again is just more all of the display ads onto one page. You can break it down by ad dimension. Text ads you've seen, and then I'll go to landing pages here. And then, so these are all the different landing pages uh, that charming dot, uh, <coughs> sorry, charmingdate.com uh, use. Um, you can see here so some of the ones that are more popular. So, for example, um, let's just go here. This one had a, a fair bit of hits. So there's your landing page. You could copy that, or you could copy the idea, the layout, uh, get ideas from that. It seems to be working pretty well for them. It's also broken down by what network they're being on. And there's 26 entries here, so there's, a, there's 26 different landing pages that they're using. This one seems very, very popular, so let's go to this one here. So they're using this one a lot in the UK on the Google network. And <clears throat> so this seems to be doing well for them. Now this is, a, <clears throat> this is an example of a advertiser um, doing their traffic directly. Um, but you can also search for affiliates and see what affiliates and other affiliates and competitors are running. Um, it can take it can be a somewhat tricky on box of ads. The interface is still being uh, developed and still being adapted all the time. So and it really takes a lot of um, basically trial and error and just basically getting used to the system to seeing how it works properly. Um, but you can do different strings. For example, let, let <clears throat> for tracking two hundred two. One of the strings that they use in their in their tracking is T202 uh, keyword. So if you search for that, um, that actually here it only yields one result. Again, it can be a little bit tricky to use. Let's try doing the CPV lab um, string, which is usually base.php. Uh, here there's a lot more. Um, we can see there's 12 pages of different advertisers. And these all look very much like um, affiliate links to me uh, or sorry affiliate uh, URLs to me so if we just go to the top one here tracker with uh, two extra R's here just see what they're running here we can see that they are using mostly ad shuffle um, followed by Zito and site scout and then Google so you can see where they're running and then you can see that the top publisher probably on um, uh, ad shuffle but you can click and find out. Um, but you can see that the top publishers that this advertiser is running on. Um, let's, we can check out some of the ads that they're, they're using. So yeah, definitely an affiliate, hey. <laughs> so this, um, so it, like nothing is like done for you. Like Box of Ads isn't just going to hand you a winning campaign, obviously, right? It's not that simple. What it does do does sorry, what it does 
do is provide you with all of the information you need to weed out the the, the various affiliates and, and advertisers that seem to be doing well, um, which you can usually um, tell by the the amount of volume that they're doing and how many like how many uh, how many hits and uh, um, ads and landing pages they're using. Usually, usually the more active the the advertiser or affiliate, usually the better they're doing. But you can see here that the, this this particular uh, affiliate is just using. I mean, they've got a ton of different ads here. They all seem to be kind of shocking ads uh, using political themes and scare tactics. You can click on any one of them again as before, but let's just check out their landing pages. So we can see that they have quite a bit of landing pages too. They're using CPB Lab here. Um, this is their 268th campaign. So let's just check out what um, what this shows here. Here, so we so this brings us to one of their landing pages here. It's going to be a, a scare tactic. Fellow uh, patriot, this will demolish yeah. your 2014. So this is their landing page here. So a chilling conspiracy so will wipe out, out 281 million well, unsuspecting Americans. But anyway, so you, you can get your idea from that landing page there. Um, from this affiliate, so maybe maybe that type of splash page with a um, auto loading video um, using a kind of a scare tactic or shocking type of um, result may, that might uh, yield good results for you. You can just uh, visit another one of their. So let's just try this one here. So again, it's like an, an, another you similar never style. Tall fence this time they have a few more. Do you know what kind of, of meat uh, you should never eat in a crisis? Do you know why you? Should a few logos down there. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is the again. This is the 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 display area of Box of Ads, um, and that is generally Box of Ads in a in a nutshell. Um, but as you can see here again, just looking at all the this is showing all of the advertisers or affiliates that are using CPV Lab. Um, and it's showing well at and uh, I wonder if at and is using uh, CPV Lab. That's interesting there. I would have to. But just moving on, yeah, um, you can see that there is a ton of information here. So you can, and if you have a, a specific competitor, like let's say let's say you know that you have a competitor who's running the same type of offers as you, and um, you're just curious how they're doing. Um, you can just uh, put that in. So let's say let's say you already knew beforehand that. Uh, um, let me just pick one out here that looks like it's an affiliate. Or let me just go near the top. There's a lot more active ones here. Well, let's just say that you you know that ClickPathTracks.com is one of your competitors. So you could just uh, put that directly into your search here. Um, actually, I'll just take you to the front page. And it'll it'll and it'll it'll just bring it up right for you. So um, if and and again, there's no guarantee that it'll show up in Box of Ads because there's basically Box of Ads is trying to scrape the whole internet full of ads, and, and there's so many out there that it can't take every single one um, from the internet. But chances are, is uh, if whoever you're looking for is if they're doing any half decent amount of traffic. Um, they'll show up here. Hope that makes sense. So, anyways, just we're going to that clickpasstrack.com, pretending it's uh, your rival. So now you can find out where they're running their ads. So they're mostly ad shuffle again here, then followed by site scout, Google network, a pretty decent mix of traffic. Um, and then you can see where they're running again. You can check out their creative. We've already been through this, but um, let's just do it again very quickly. Yeah, so, you, so now you can steal all of your, or get ideas from um, your, hang on, my dog is, hang on, sorry, my dog was trying to get me to play. Um, yeah, so again, here's all of the ads, very similar to that last one we just checked out, actually. Um, and then again, there are landing pages, and there's a ton to choose from here. Let's go to the second page, check them out.
Yeah, very very similar to that last one we checked out. So you can see here that those were, I believe those were two different um, affiliates and they're both using the very almost exactly the same type of style of, of advertising. So if that's working for the for two people, you might want to try that out yourself. Of, of course, it'll depend on what you're running and to see if that's applicable to you. But that already, that's just the those were the first two affiliates that I that I looked at, and it seems to be working for them. So, um, finally, for the the to finish out the uh, display section, um, you can you can also filter things out by country, um, by time, and by network. And most things are exportable, as you can see here. So that was the that's the display area of Box of Ads. Um, I'm, it's, this uh, video is already 20 minutes in, so I better speed things along here. So that's the uh, display area. Now I'm going to show you the pay-per-view area. And I think this interface is going to change in about a month, is what I've heard. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, where was I here? Okay, so this is the pay-per-view area. Um, you can ignore the display because that'll be phased out, I believe. And so this is um, a different interface, but it has it's you know works the same the same uh, method as, as uh, the display area. Um, you can do a basic search or advanced search. I always do advanced because it's it's just you just have a lot more control. Um, now, pay-per-view is really good for, for finding landing pages, um, often because landing pages can um, have a little bit more impact on, on uh, pay-per-view. Um, and so let's just get started here. So you can, you can decide to search by, uh, by destination, uh, by, by the tracker, or by the landing page, or by all three. This is uh, basically how you can filter out. Um, so let's just start off with uh, what should we do here? Let's just do dating again. The I believe that the the pay per view area can be a little bit slower to load than the than the uh, new. Okay, so nothing showed up there, and that is probably be, be because when you do the basic search, it. it when you do the basic search, it fills out all three of these filters. So that's that's usually why I don't like to do the basic search. So if we just do um, target here, let's just say uh, dating as the target. Um, basically, these three different areas are exclude, it must include, and basic search here. So let's just do that dating. Try that again. Just loading here. Oh, nothing showed up. Not sure why. Again, the the system within Box of Ads can be a little bit finicky or just a little bit odd to use. Um, so it, it can take a little bit of uh, trial and error, as I said in the beginning. Um, let's try uh, let's try searching for pay per view. Hmm. What should I do here? I think so, so that's the target. So let's try uh, so let's try must include base PHP again. Again, we're going to be looking at uh, <coughs> CPV Lab ads or ads run by affiliates. Oh, nothing showed up. Hang on a second here. Okay, um, what I did was uh, what I did was because I just paused the video for a second. Um, the date range previously was on seven days, uh, so I just changed that to the past year, um, and then and I have it on searching for base.php, which is a CPV Lab string in the in the URL, and I just I just changed it to that, so that's what it was searching for. And then you can see here that there's oh, oh, 2,600 uh, results showing up here. Actually, sorry, 135,000. Uh, hey, zipper, no. Sorry, my dog. 
um, yeah, so we've got uh, 135,000 results. Sorry, he's uh, being bad, the <laughs> dog again. Okay, so um, so we can just quickly browse through here again. Um, again, this is the, the pay-per-view area of Box of Ads. I'm just going to go to the second page here. I'm just going to try to look at something that might be affiliate related. Um, because it would be nice to 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 find something that looks like would be a nice landing page here. Um, da 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 da. da. So is it, hmm. Nothing yet. So we can let's just go to let's just go to visitor survey center here. I see a few ads up for this one. So this is this is the the information that we get on here. Um, it shows you the traffic source here. Um, the target, the tracker, and the landing page. So if we go and visit this link here, again we know that this is an affiliate because they're using CPV Lab here. Um, seems to be one of their earlier campaigns though. And so here we have their landing page. So we've got a very, very minimalistic landing page here for looks like uh, e-cigarettes and looks like they're does not look like a good landing page to me, but you never know until you try it. But um, looks pretty crappy to me. Um, so here's your landing page. This is what they're doing, and then it goes on to their. This is their their second page, uh, which isn't working because I didn't click on their their original uh, CPV Lab tracking link. But so there's uh, one example. If you click on target, it's showing you the target there. Their various creatives, which will probably be the landing pages, because again, this is pay per view, so this is all going to be landing pages under creative. Um, so, here's actually a good example here. They have most of them are crappy, um, but we've got this one here that they're, that they're doing. This one landing page here, which uh, you can, uh, that's this is their landing page here. Um, so, this is very interesting now here. Um, this is their landing page using Barack Obama. As a survey um, on a very uh, very split uh, question, and um, let's actually just visit that landing page ourselves. And it looks like they're they're, they're going to be promoting a survivalist offer, so it's going to be a, like a, a controversial uh, landing page theme. And then so let's try it out. So this is their landing page. I think it's going to go to a like a survivalist uh, offer. So let's just say yes. Oh, sorry, it won't work because again, I I'm not using the original uh, pay-per-view tracking link, but we can see that it will um that the target is a sur is survivalistsite.com and then this is their tracker here. Yeah. Um so that's that's a that's an example of a landing page that you could use. You could change that of course to anything you want. Um Sorry, let me one more time just go to this landing page here. So this is a landing page um, that you could copy and just sw swap all this text out for whatever you want. Like, um, do you believe that the biggest loser is um, really works? Or do you believe that the biggest loser um, is the best way to lose weight, for example? Yes or no? And then have that being sent to a weight loss offer or submit or survey. Um, just change the images and text around and then there you go. You've got a free landing page for yourself. Um, you might want to swap things around a little bit more if you, depending on how much you feel you know, on your ethics of copying somebody else's uh, landing page. Um, but there you go. So you've got a nice little yes or no uh, voting landing page here that you can use. Um, the, and the source code should probably be pretty simple. Yeah, it looks pretty simple. Very, very simple. One, one page uh, with some external JavaScript and, and um, style sheets there. Um, yeah. So, and we can we can see here. This is their their tracking. You could again throw in this uh, 
this uh, URL into Box of Ads again and see what other um, what other offers and landing pages that this particular ad, um, affiliate is using, and basically follow them around and and um, and get ideas from from this particular advertiser. So that is Box of Ads in a nutshell. Uh, as you saw, even when I was using it, it can be somewhat tricky to to use a, a, a little bit. As I said before, they are, are working on improving the, the interface, making it a little bit more uh, more intuitive. Um, but they're constantly making improvements. I know that I actually suggested a, a couple of simple um, uh, suggestions, and they've implemented them. So they are very uh, willing to, to make improvements. Uh, finally, I think I'll just talk about um, you can you can do a few more features here, like a global exclude. You can decide to exclude uh, specific uh, um, keywords or URLs. For example, you maybe you want to remove your own so that your own results don't show up when you search, or maybe you want to exclude huge advertisers like CNN or Amazon because you know they're so huge they don't really help you. Um, and then also you can um, set up target monitoring. So for example, let's say your competitor is like affiliatejoe.com. You could just add that in here and then I believe, because I haven't used it myself yet, but I believe when new, uh, when new results come up for that target, it will notify you on, on, uh, within your, your control panel there. So you can basically, it, it, the monitoring really helps because so, it'll, it helps leave you from, um, constantly having to search for your competitors, for example. Um, so that's box of ads, and then I'll just talk about the payment now. So let me just get to my notes here. Oh, I should mention too um, that I guess I'll, I'll talk about it now. I, I mentioned before that there's basically three different packages. There's also a fourth, which is uh, pay-per-view basic. But it's not that useful. I mean, it's it's the cheapest by far, but it it only gives you 90 days of data, which you know three months. It could be that fourth month that has all of the juicy information that you're seeking. Um, it has a limited number of networks. It's uh, USA only, and it's um, and it has no export functionality. So if you are really looking to take those publishers, um, let's say and to pump them into your Google AdWords account you won't be able to with pay-per-view basic. Um, let me just, I'm just looking at my notes here. Okay, so I have special uh, discounts for Tyler Cruz readers. Uh, these were given to me by the, the founder, the owner of Box of Ads um, and they're pretty good. So first of all they are lifetime discounts um, so for as long as you have your account, as long as you're paying, um, that you'll get this discount. The first one is for, and these will be in my blog post, um, but the first one is for Pay-Per-View Pro. If you enter it in the bonus code or coupon Tyler Crew, basically my name without a Z, all one word, T, uh, so T-Y-L-E-R-C-R-U, Tyler Crew, you use that as the code. Um, you this will be $137. Excuse me. So that's 31% uh, off lifetime. Um, same code, Tyler Crew. Um, again, Tyler Crews without the Z on the the display. That'll be nine, uh, $99 a month lifetime. That's 32% off. So 100 bucks a month, 99 bucks a month. Um, and then lastly, the you get a discount for the combo. Which is kind of the the best of the, of the best if if you want everything, um, and that is one hundred ninety seven dollars um, a month. So that that's uh, twenty percent off for lifetime if you use the bonus code again, Tyler Crew, um, for that. Um, in addition, the owner the owner was kind enough to offer uh, free one on one, um, basically tutoring and and hand holding. For the first two people who purchase the the combo package, um, and even if you use the the bonus code, you, you'll still get it. But so yeah, you'll get free one-on-one -on -one, um, 
training and, and hand holding. Basically, he'll help you explain how Box of Ads works. If you have any questions, you can ask him directly. And, uh, you know, any tips or tricks or anything like that, he'll help you out with. And that'll be one on one uh, on Skype with him. So that's again, that's for the first two people who get the combo package. Um, and that'll, you can just send him an email if you do that. But it's only available for the first two people who do that. Um, so that's box of ads for you. Uh, very useful for affiliate marketers. Um, very useful for getting ideas from for for ad creative and landing pages, as well as seeking out new traffic sources, um, which can be very useful when you're targeting, for example, Google AdWords content uh, the, the content network. You can just simply uh, take all of the publishers and and URLs that your competitors or similar um, companies are using and um, pump that straight into your your own um, campaigns so I've been very happy with box of ads as I say I've been using them for about a month and so far I can I can, um, I can thank them for about five to ten thousand dollars of profit and that is thanks due to uh, me having scored a couple landing pages that have performed very well and uh, they'll just continue to to yield uh, results for me for a very long time. So there you go. That's a box of ads for you. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.